What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a great Tuesday evening. Uh, mine's not too bad, so I can't complain. Um, I just wanted to get in here real quick and kind of give you a little heads up on what I'm doing with my system right now. Um, I'm doing a little house cleaning, and I'm cleaning up my home directory. Um, my home directory gets so cluttered with all kinds of stuff. You know, when you install programs, they like to just cram whatever they can in your home directory. And, you know, is that a bad thing? Is that necessarily a problem? Well, no, but it just looks messy. And for some reason, that just drives me insane. So, little by little, I've been kind of clearing stuff out of my home directory. And before you guys get after me, I know there is tools like XDG, Ninja, or whatever that go through and tell you what you can move where, and it'll move it for you, and whatever else. But I am one who likes to actually get in and do things on my own. Uh, that doesn't mean I don't ever use programs to do stuff for me, but I always like to do things as far as I possibly can on my own before I rely on anything else. So, that being said, what I've done today so far is I cleared a couple more folders, or a couple more files, excuse me, out of my home directory. And the files I moved were my .bashrc and my .bash profile. Now, I've heard both sides of the story about how you shouldn't move your .bashrc because it doesn't follow the XDG plan or whatever, and uh, bash doesn't uh, abide by that, which, you know, if it does, it does, if it doesn't, it doesn't, but I am able to call my bash RC from a different location. And so basically what I've done is if we go ahead and open a terminal here and let's go ahead and clear the screen and zoom in and we are going to CD to our Etsy directory. Now in our Etsy directory, you either have a bash RC file or a bash directory with a bash RC file in it. On my system, I have a bash directory, so we are going to cd into bash. And if I do an ls here, you can see I've got a bash rc file right here, which is the main system bash rc for the you know main user, the root user. So if we go into that, so we sudo dash e and we do bash rc, and we go ahead and type in our super secret password, and we look, you can see what I've got. And boy, that's a little crowded. Let's go ahead and do something about that. Let's separate that out a bit. Basically what I've got here is this statement that is an if statement and it checks for my dot bash profile in my home dot config bash dot bash profile location as opposed to my home dot bash profile location. So basically when you fire up bash or you go to launch your terminal or whatever it reads this file here and it sees that, okay, I need to look for the bash profile in home.config bash dot bash profile. So once you have this set up, basically what you can do, oops, <laughs> what you can do is if we go home and we cd into dot config and I do an ls, you can see right here I have a directory called bash. And if I cd into bash, let's clear the screen and I do an ls or excuse me, an LA because they're hidden. I have my bash history, my dot bash profile, and my dot bash RC. Now, if we vim into dot bash profile, you can see what I've done here is in the dot bash profile. So when you fire up bash or when you launch into a terminal or whatever else, it, it tells bash reads that etc slash bash slash bash RC. It tells Bash to look for the Bash profile in the home.config Bash directory. And so once it finds that and reads that file, it sees it's got my path here and it's got my CD path in here. But it also sees, oh, I'm looking for the .bashrc, not in the normal location, but in the .config slash Bash location. So in the etc slash Bash slash BashRC, I forwarded it to look for Bash profile here, and then the Bash, bash profile here, I forwarded that to look for the Bash RC in the same directory. So basically what that did is that got all that out of my home directory, that's two, three files basically, out of my home directory, which declutters a little bit. So, and as you can see, if we go ahead and write and quit, and then we close out, you can see my Bash and my shell and everything works just like it should. Um, if you're curious about why it takes so long for my terminal to launch, it's because I have these moving GIFs um, or GIFs, however you want to pronounce it, and so it takes a second to load those. Um, I feel it's worth the trade-off, um, the couple seconds it takes to launch the terminal to give me this cool little GIF, um, <laughs> but you might not think that, but um, that's that's why that's happening, not because I've moved that bash RC file. Um, but everything works as it should. Um, I can use my system just like I would if uh, the bash RC and the bash profile were in my home directory. It just kind of clears things up. So that way, 
when I do a, let's clear the screen and zoom in. When I do an LA and I pipe it into word count dash L and I do this on my home directory, um, it shows I've got 44. Well, if I do an LA, excuse me, an LA, um, 44 includes the current directory, which is this dot here, and then the dot dot, which is one directory up in the file tree. So um, 44 is including those. So technically, I've only got 42. And technically, if we're going to get really sticklier, sticklery about it, I don't think that's a word, um, this clean home is actually the video I'm shooting right now. So this one will go away as well. And so that'll lead me down to, what, 41? So that gives me 41 um, files and directories in my home directory. Now, there's a few more that are going to be moving out before too long because I'm going to clear some of the window managers I have on my system out um, and I'm just going to kind of clean things up a bit. But um, slowly, little by little, I'm cleaning up my home directory and that's one way you can do that. One way you can move your .bash RC and your .bash profile. So, hopefully uh, you found this interesting and if you did, great, put it to use. If not, uh, I'm sorry about that. I hope uh, next time my video uh, makes better use of your time. So, that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. I look forward to the next one and God bless.